Here you go, guys. This is the second find of the day, but it's the first, like, important one. First one, <coughs> it was a uh, soft plastic, as you can see. It was just a crawfish, and I didn't even like the hook. Um, this one looks like a chatterbait. It's a cool one. <coughs> I'll be getting that soon. Stay here. Here you go. We got it. We got a lot of spiders and <coughs> branches in our kayak, but we still got it and it didn't fill in the water. It's a nice cheddar bait. I don't like the, the trailer. Probably I'll be changing it, but I'll be fishing this one for sure. Can you find? I was like just, you know, rowing, coming to this and I see something like shiny. I thought it's a shiner. But it's it's this crankbait that I'm gonna try and get. Uh, I don't wanna tip over, so I'll probably just need to grab the branch be next to them. It's a cool crankbait that I'll probably be using. Stay tuned, guys. Here you go. It's uh, a hard knock. This is my first time. Square lip, that's nice. Cool find. Man, I wish my uh, GoPro was working. I got this frog from about 20 foot away in the tree. I'm glad I got it. That's a cool find, man. I just grabbed this line. I'm sorry, I have this mask. It doesn't let me talk properly. So I grabbed this line and I keep pulling on it and I can see a cheddar bait, a nice cheddar bait that I'll be using now. Just I don't want to make it stuck in the tree or fall in the water. Here you go. It's coming nicely. Down. Hoping to get it without getting entangled. It's tough with, with one hand, like, and it's other bait with a plastic blade. I have never seen that. I think it's a custom made. Somebody just made this blade. I don't know how efficient it is or if it's gonna break, but it looks cool. Nice find. <coughs> 